Wade, how, how do you like this trail so far? I mean, we've been lost the whole time. Yeah, I mean, other than, you know, trying to figure out what's actually the trail uh, and doubling back a couple of times, I'm really impressed. I mean, we started off, you know, camping by uh, Turtleback last night, and that was fantastic. The desert completely changes in the next few miles, and now that we've got broad playas out here, I mean, you could camp 50 rigs right here where we're standing. Great views back there, obviously, of uh, one of the more rugged mountain ranges in uh, southern Arizona, southwestern Arizona. So, it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. Tell me about the eagle tails. Well, the eagle tails are, uh, they're volcanic in nature. Uh, they're about 16 million years old, which is fairly old. Uh, what you see is the core of the mountains. Everything else has eroded away, and you get these just really odd shapes. Uh, spires and domes and peaks. Very few of them are rounded. Those are most of the uh, hills, but it makes for a great skyline. headed north from the on the road that comes from Turtleback Mountain on the west side and it's a confusing mess there's little spurs that go everywhere so I really urge you to make sure you download the tracks before you come out and keep them open as you're driving because uh, what looks like the could be the road is is typically out here is not the road that you need to be on we're actually using the old-fashioned paper maps to make sure that we're on track and that we're on a legal road so the BLM map, we pulled out the compass and the map, and we are on a legal road, so we're just uh, making sure that we're following the right tracks along. And uh, to kind of give you an idea of where we're at right now, so we obviously came up past Turtleback Mountain. We're following uh, Not Bush Wash. Uh, we just passed an intersection where there was a... And that is not bush wash. It's not not bush wash. Not bush wash. <laughs> <laughs> All one word. Uh, yeah, so I think we passed this intersection right here of a yeah. little trail that goes out to the uh, Palomas Harquahala Road. Yeah. And it looks like we just continue north. It does show that this is just a two track, which yep, is four matching. Wheel drive. Yep. And we should uh, wind up at Clanton Wells in about seven miles. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's go back and grab that last waypoint okay. where it was a little confusing. Yep. And then we'll follow this because this is defined. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just work our way through this. Yep. And then um, we'll get up there, have a snack, and then we'll yep. all yeah. our way out. All the way from Wells is in our future. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>
definitely defined, but then when I saw the weeds growing up in the middle of the road, I was thinking, eh, maybe not. Yeah, and obviously we'll need to mark that waypoint uh, to turn into the wash. Man, what was the name of the trail from Turtleback all the way up to Palomas? Ye417. Yeah, that sounds right. Ye417. We got off track. Well, there was no track, <laughs> so we 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 got off the main trail a bunch of times. It's a real maze out there. But man, what a fun, beautiful trail that one was for sure. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed, you know, one, just kind of figuring out the puzzle. You yeah, know, that was a total so puzzle. So many little side tracks, and, you know, it, it's obviously not a road that's driven very often. Yeah. Um, and so so piecing that together was, was quite the adventure, but it's, it's an interesting trail. I'm going to say at least the way that we went, and the road is on the BLM map, so we know yes. it's legit. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, the middle portion that we were on, I I would say it's been a year or more since anybody's been back there. Yeah, I saw a few uh, ATV tracks now and again. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I really <clears throat> don't think that gets a, a lot of use. I mean, this is one of the few times in the actual Sonoran Desert that you had to pull your little saw out. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, those washes, uh, obviously, they're just, you know, white ribbons with green edges, and uh, those green edges grow really fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of acacia, um, a lot of Palo Verde and everything. So, yeah, we had, we had to create a, uh, a path big enough for that 4Runner. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, we mapped, what was it, two or three trails? Three trails yesterday? Three trails yesterday, yeah. Today, one day one and it was not long i mean you know whenever I, I, i've got right now until i clean up the gpx track i probably got 20 miles it's probably 10 but we'll see oh, backtracks yeah, <laughs> yeah. all backtracks yeah. 